Warning, this video will contain spoilers for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I suggest you watch it before you watch this review. If if you have, then stick around for this review. The review begins in 3, 2, 1. You have been warned. That sequel was freaking amazing! <laughs> you just saw was my immediate reaction for this movie. And I mean that completely. Oh. Why? Gosh. Tails and Knuckles throughout that whole film, I freaking love. Seriously, I freaking love that. For, for so long, we barely had any media at all of them being used in any of the games or any of the TV shows. Because ever since 2006 or 2005, when Heroes came out. They've they've never had another chance to sign. Never. It, it's they've just never had much time to shine out after those games. But finally, this is the movie that gives them that spotlight. For a lot of tales of scenes, they were really heartwarming and a lot of fun. When he's brought in, you're you learn that he's from he's essentially from the same planet as Sonic, but it's not it's not the same area. He was in, he was in a different area, so he wasn't with Long Claw before, with another tribe, but he was outcast because he had the two tails of him, but, um, when, what he gets, he learns about Sonic when he created that, uh, electronic blast back, it didn't just hit the Earth, but it hit the whole galaxy, so he was able to watch the whole adventure, and he wanted to even go to the planet and meet him just to warn him about Knuckles. Even when he gets there, it's already too late, and yet, we just get an, an insane chase scene with Tails just driving the car with Sonic in it, and you just see Knuckles just going through, he's just straight up running on all fours and just chasing him down. He's scared of us! I'm scared! <laughs> Come on, man, move this thing! I can't, it's a Gia! Knuckles, I, I, I honestly might have to say, he was definitely... The best part of this movie and a lot of, so many of his scenes were just so action-packed and comedic for for the small part it, it would in just a balanced way of just made, made, um reimagining his character it, it was just so well done i couldn't believe it because there were there were three scenes where he was just incredible that, that, that would all include sonic because one was where he realized uh, there was being stairs made. The other was every time he was um, shaking hands with someone, he would just break their um, entire hand. And of course, when he was reading all the messages that Sonic was sending, just seeing the dot 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 dot. <laughs> so I was so happy when I saw this because I talked about this a lot for when I was making my theory videos for how I wanted Knuckles to interact with Sonic. But when you get to the snowboarding scene, or the, the ice scenes and the temple scenes, you actually see them talk about their past before of how Sonic lost his uh, his home because of the echidnas. And you also learn that Knuckles lost everything to his tribes. He, he lost it too. I It was crazy. I don't even know how that was possible because it was just um, an army of echidnas against Longclaw. There's so much more we do not know, but I'm so glad they included that backstory into the movie for them to both connect because they both lost their homes and now they have to move on, so they had to try and understand each other a bit more. Now, I know a lot of people had problems with this part of the middle act, and I, I was honestly okay with it, but in the middle act, they just have this somewhat winning plot with Tom and I can't remember the wife's or the uh, the wife's name. I can re remember her sister's name. It was it was Rachel's wedding in Hawaii, and I, I'd say it was dragging on for a bit, but um, I, I feel that they were just mentioning it because they had a one scene where they were talking about how Tom wanted to see Sonic with buddies, which would later foreshadow. Um, him, him, Sonic having tails and knuckles at the end of the movie, but I, I was enjoying. I was enjoying a lot of that. I found James Martin to be a great actor. He's really fun on screen, but the and the wedding scene was 
plot uh, got really funny when Sonic and Tails get there because, right as they crash the wedding, they get captured and then it just, it just reveals that it's G U N, and I'm like, wait, what? What just happened? But yeah, they uh, they do it for, a, I'd say, four to five minutes for that for that storyline, and they just end it with just Rachel just going full. Um, spy on her on. I'm just taking out all the gun agents using all of Tails' guys and crashing into her fiance. But then they just make up and kiss her at the end. The fight in the Labyrinth Zone was phenomenal. It was tremendous. It, especially since there weren't many fights at all in the first one, because there were just no fights. It was like a one, it was just the bar the final chase and that was it but here it was just a smackdown it was the it was the true version of batman v superman because they were you they were just matching each other blow for blow they were just going hand to hand it was at high speeds and really well this crazy part was just when he was doing the bounce technique i'd say um i'd say it was similar to how he does it in sonic adventure 2 with the brown players and he just Hit some three times into the ground, but it was just so crazy. Like, it was so amazing to just see them finally fight on on the big screen or in any piece of media because it looked so so cool. Act. I can honestly say my this possibly be my favorite um, cinematic third act in I've ever seen in any movie because straight up get the death egg okay do you hear me the death egg they they fully made the death egg possible they gave us the final boss we always wanted we got to see him go up against sonic tails and knuckles and you just get to see him do all of these team attacks against all the robots you just get to see this a bit of communication as they try to figure out a plan you even get this quick um avengers assemble scene of them doing the whole uh, i guess sonic heroes <laughs> poses I, I it was so amazing i couldn't believe it this was it was just something i always wanted i just wanted to just see these three come together <laughs> and it's just a cinematic master and just when I think they've given us almost everything for this third act, they give us even more. Being supersonic in live action was a gift, okay? It was a gift. It was a masterpiece. It, we got to see him go up against the Death Egg hand to hand in this in this quick fight. It was amazing. You needed to see him just straight up hold the giant death egg hand with just one hand and just break it apart you just see him go through back and forth into the robot destroying it similar to how he de destroyed all those ships in Sonic Unleashed and just to finish it off a little tap um, a reference to Sonic 06 that that is the best fight I've ever seen in my life The ending, I'd say, was really heartwarming because for the ending, you just see them all swearing to protect the Earth, forming this trio friendship, and you even get to see them do a small baseball game all together, and you even get to see Sonic's relationship with Tom evolve from from friends to father and son, with Sonic calling him a dad. It was it was a really nice touch for how how their bond grew over the movie. It was a really great way to conclude it, but, oof. Talk about the post credit scene, okay? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this post credit scene. Right as they're just cleaning up the debris, you see um, Agent Stone in a G.U.N. suit. And yeah, you see them talking about how they found something from... I easily just gave it away by saying this. They found something from... 50 years ago, and that only meant one little thing. I, 
I I on I think when I saw that, I might have just put a ban on myself for my theater. Cause I you least I saw Shadow live action. My, my my one of my most favorite video game characters live action. I've I've talked about how much I love SA2, and I see this man fully animated in the capsule from SA2 on the on the screen in the post credit scene for the third movie. I couldn't believe it. it oh, it it was fantastic. It, it, I never I never thought this this universe would just get to that point. Now there's two more things I would like to talk about before this is over. One are the human characters, and then the other uh, is the lore they established for. Them. So let me start off by talking about the human characters. And no, Eggman does not count for this portion because um. <laughs> He's already great. Eggman will always be better than a any human character in general. I, I I almost forgot to even talk about him because Eggman, Jim Carrey was phenomenal in every scene. He was a blast with all of the scenes, and I, I couldn't even believe. It. I even loved all the chemistry he had with Knuckles when they were even working together. He was a blast to watch on screen. I couldn't believe it. But for the human characters, I'd say that when we had them in the movie, for this one especially, it felt a bit more like Sonic X in a way with the humans. And for a lot of people, I, I and I'm sure some will agree that human characters are not a very, um, not very likable sometimes. I, there are a few that are likable in the series, like Rose and Professor Pickle. Um, I'm trying to even think of others, but, but but yeah, my point is that some you know, sometimes their stories can be get a bit dragged on sometimes, but because um for the wedding again, lo lots of people will not enjoy the wedding for me because it just it feel I can tell you that it does feel out of place because the movie transitions from Sonic into a MTV show for four minutes, but. It, it's still entertaining. I I will love it. It it was hilarious. But for Tom, I will say Tom is definitely um a great character though. I I do love how the relationship goes for the movie, and I think I think the whole portion for the wedding scene was they needed to separate so Sonic from Tom for a bit so they can. Um, have Sonic and Tails do their adventure for the first portion of the movie while Tom has his portion of adventure because I think that's the whole reason behind the wedding scene because they needed a way to have this adventure and then merge the two so they can both connect to each other once they see that giant energy blast um, uh, at the Labyrinth Zone so I haven't I'd say for some people that won't be a problem but for me it wasn't at all I still enjoyed it but now I want to talk about the lore for the movie I'm a big fan of just learning all the types of lore for any piece of media so but I got to see a bunch of lore behind the chaos emeralds and knuckles and sonic's past I was so up for it because for how they do the Master Emerald, they talk about how it w originally was the Seven Chaos Emeralds, but they merged it into the Master Emerald and was held by the Echidna's tribe. But Long Clark and her people realized that they it was too much power to handle, so they had to seal it away, and that that put their clans at odds for each other for centuries. So they, they had to fight for a while, and that's that's actually also why. They wanted to also capture Sonic because he knew the truth because he had the piece that leads to the Master Emerald. As for where the Emerald is, you'll see that it's in Labyrinth Zone. Now, you may not know it's Labyrinth Zone, but it's also stated in one of the interviews in, um, that talks about the future for uh, the Sonic movies. Uh, and in that statement, they talk about how Labyrinth Zone wasn't originally in Sonic 1, but it's going to be in this movie. So, also, when you see there's a small portion of it, but you'll see that you'll see a side of it where you see the waterfall go zigzag, and that was a sign for me 
of Labyrinth Zone. You also get to see it pixelated in the credits as well, so if you needed more signs for it, that those were the signs as well. Be and I love seeing them go through Labyrinth Zone, because you just get to see all of the traps, such as all the spikes, the <laughs> especially the spikes. Spikes get me every single time. <laughs> And you even get to see a small second where when he was trying to Sonic was trying to save Knuckles where they did the air bubble thing. <laughs> Honestly, if they played the drowning music, I don't know how the theater would react. I would just just start having a bunch of flashbacks for how many times that music got me because so much. that still gets me. Okay. Oh, I loved every bit of it, and I'm so glad I watched this with my friends too. On uh, to on the early fan access. Also, if you went to the early fan access, you probably want to get probably got one of these comics, which has uh, one of the IDW comics, and he even got the poster on the back. And I even got this baby. Look at this. This this, this is what a movie looks like. This look. This, this looks incredible. Oh, but yeah, this. This movie isn't just a video game movie, alright? It's the video game movie that everyone's been waiting for. This is the one that's just gonna be the one, the blueprint for everyone to work off of. Because this one is also just a massive love letter to all Sonic fans, and I'm so looking forward to seeing the Paramounts Plus series for Knuckles, and the third one, once we get Shadow, and it's going to go insane, and I'm so ready for it, so... For how I want to rate it, I, I didn't want to do the number system, so I want to do, um, probably the letter rating, so I give this an A. I, I, so I highly recommend to watch this movie with friends, grab, grab anyone, grab family members, grab friends, grab, grab something you don't even know, I actually don't do that. But, and just try and just watch this movie because I can guarantee you you're gonna find something you're gonna love from this movie and it's just gonna stay with you for the rest of the time so um, be sure to check out this movie. <laughs>